Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we got a marathon by Dave, sponsored and chosen by Dave. And I'm super excited about this one because it's it's all jazz, man. It's all instrumental music. That's, you know, where I'm at home, you know, the most. That's where I feel at home the most. And yeah, that's the music that I listen to uh off channel you know so um yeah I'm, I'm really excited to do this um let's pull up the information by dave that he provided me with um i just had it but i did close it um so let's see here we're gonna do three songs it says here from prog metal to old school jazz all three of these are from the blue note Blue Note record label. Blue Note is a jazz label standard uh, in the in late 90s, 1930s by two German Jewish immigrants now owned by Evil UMJ. Unfortunately, yeah, I remember Blue Note. All the stuff my dad used to own was Blue Note majorly, you know, uh, Oscar Peterson, Stan Getz, um, you know, his Sarah Vaughan collection, Ella Fitzgerald, all that good stuff was all blue note and uh, so we're gonna do all spotify no video moaning moaning uh by art blakey um and the jazz messengers is the first one art blakey was a drummer this song was written by pianist bobby timmons and released in 1958 they're already so advanced at the time musically it's just over nine minutes a flight time by donald bird of blackbird album from 1973 or is offered on his greatest hits. I grabbed the um, by the Blackbird album, just over eight minutes. And number three, the song for my father by Horace uh, Horace Silver uh, Quintet from 1965, just over seven minutes. Had thought of including this with the Father Marathon, but then thought it would fit better uh, with other jazz. About three years ago, you and Alexi reacted to a song that samples this. Oh, um, um, and it was mentioned in the comments at the time. Maybe you already know. I'm sure I'll recognize it. Um, it says, I'll, I'll think you recognize it immediately. Enjoy, Dave. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Um, let's go. Um, you know, I'm always ready for some jazz music. Uh, get the jazz phase on, you know, the stank phase, uh, all that good stuff. You know, I just love improvisation and uh we just went to a jazz festival on um called the five points here in denver colorado and it's used to be you know where all the original jazz musicians used to get together and uh and play and it was most mostly black artists because uh, at that time uh that was their only place where they can you know play so now it's open for everyone and it's just an amazing, amazing uh, festival. And there's five stages and uh, you can like geek around, you know, all day and listen to the greatest that, you know, Denver has to offer. But there's also a lot of people from outside of Colorado that come here. Uh, we had some amazing uh, people from Florida and all over. I mean, really amazing recording artists who participate in this in this festival so we we have some live footage that we'll post in our shorts um but yeah for now let's give it up here for art um uh blakey and the jazz messenger this is monin here we go all right Thank you. 
yeah that's just like the level of musicianship here is ridiculous uh it's beautiful it's it's crazy how advanced like i said i guess you know the the theory and you know the the amount of you know passages and uh and and, and it's, i mean it's it doesn't sound scaly at all you know it sounds it's just pu pure expression and uh the other day, actually, you know, a friend of mine, when we went to the jazz concert with Alexian, his wife, and 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 I was like, listen, like, listen to the silences, like, and he's like, what are you talking about? Listen when they when they don't play, like, how does that affect you? And he's like, you know, studying music, and I was like, look how that affects the body, you know, when you listen to music, and then like that silence is so effective for us human beings it's ridiculous it's like i don't know why but it just is you know sometimes that couple of seconds it's almost like the anticipation or the way that particular lick was ended and then there's the silence and then it starts again and that gives you like some kind of rush if you understand because i remember my dad used to like sometimes call me into his room and he's like hey listen to this because he was like i was starting you know with guitar very very you know early and i didn't get it and he was like listen listen like pay attention and i was like i don't know what you're trying to like i don't know because for me everything was very it had to be very linear uh, to make sense, you know, so all this like, you know, didn't, I didn't get it, you know, I was just not ready. And, uh, and then, you know, after, you know, a bunch of theory and just playing and practicing, and then it becomes real in your head and, you know, uh, that trumpet solo, the sax solo, and now um, I think the piano is next. It's just so rich and I'm, I'm so happy that jazz will continue forever. You know, uh, that's a music, that's a music that never is going to go out of style. Um, never going to lose its prestige. Um, it's just an, a, a, a music that's, you know, and then if you can play it, it's just a wonderful thing as a musician. It's very difficult to be able to play. You have to be very, very adventurous with your instrument. You have to let go of a lot of things, you know, the rock and, you know, the, the boxed in kind of like thinking. And you have to kind of like, yeah, it's a lot of practice. It's not just, you can't just learn jazz and, you know, you have to practice and you have to play and and you have to make those mistakes, you know. It's a wonderful thing. Um, let's continue with that. Let me go back a little bit.
and then this whole like beautiful improvisation we have um a trumpet solo a sax solo a piano uh solo and a bass solo i love how he just like you know went for it i love it man it's so mm, so tasty and um, I'm literally, uh, I'm thinking of just like as a refresher, you know, I'm going to take another, um, advanced theory course and, um, I don't know, like I've like, uh, I think I would like to learn some more piano. Like I do know the chords on the guitar and I know how to make, do make the chords, you know, um, and, uh, but maybe like i think it would be kind of nice to just as a challenge you know for myself to go and take another you know course just to freshen up stuff because there's a lot of stuff that i used to reject like when i went to music school because it was just like nah i'm not gonna play that you know i'm not gonna use that it doesn't sound really interesting for what i want to play at that moment you know and it's so long ago, and I've also, you know, it's like when you learn a language, you know, and if you don't speak it, um, then you kind of like, you lose it a little bit, you know? And um, so I, I think I'm going to go back to school just, you know, to see where, I, where I'm at and what I remember. I do remember a lot, but just, you know, it would be, I just want to be in that environment and I want to find people to play with. I think that's the main reason to find people to play with. And uh, I might even go with the bass, you know. I, I, I just, I think the guitar, I'm very comfortable where I am with the guitar. Yesterday I was playing with that beautiful bass uh, and I figured actually, I figured out how to slap. I still don't know how to do the pull. I'm, I, I mean, I can look it up, but I want it to be kind of like almost like natural. 
So it was like playing like dum dum battle dum 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 dum, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, she was like, oh my god, you're playing slap, like. And I'm like, I don't know yet. Yeah, just figured out where exactly to hit the string, you know. Um, and it's also a lot of like ha hammer and pull offs, you know, um, to get that effect going. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna do it. You know, I think it's good. Why not, you know? And also, uh, I think I'm going to start, I, I'm going to buy, buy a new, uh, a DAW uh, is the recording studio that I use. I think I'm going to switch to something more, um, you know, the one that I use is Personas. And it's, I read an article of like, if you use Personas as a composer, you're pretty much on your own, you know, nobody uses it. It's amazing. It's very complete. But it's also very, you know, there's no information out there. There's no videos of how, of how to do things. So I'm kind of lost when I write music. Be and also, like, what is the worst thing is when, I, when I'm when i in the studio, I can't put on music because my, my sound card kind of, like, blocks. So I can't play, like, let's say, Steely Dan or, like, some Miles Davis or... Judas Priest, you know, to like get that inspiration. So it's when I'm writing music and I want to hear something to maybe inspire me, I can't. It's so it's like it's I'm just going to spend some some money and buy a new recording studio. And um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I can still use the monitors that I have and my, you know, my my MIDI keyboard, which is wonderful, my interface. But I just need to you know, pick up something that, that is used by more people because I want to go on forums and say, Hey, um, this is my bass line or this is my guitar. Like, do you have any drums for that? You know, because I'm not a drummer and I don't really like to program drums and I just want to collaborate. So if you guys, you know, want to collaborate, <clears throat> sorry, send me like an email, you know, and uh, if you have any ideas, if you have something on your mind, um, I just want to, I just want to play again, you know, with some people. All right. Horace Silver is next song for my, I'm sorry, Donald Bird is, um, uh, is next. And that's actually Alexia's, um, mother's name, Bird. So yeah, I, they, they, we used to call her Bird in school. Um, bird with a Y, um, <laughs> which is so cool. Um, okay, here we go with Blight Time by from the album Blackbird. This is from the 70s, and here we go. Another long one. This one is 8 minutes. I wouldn't even mind if it was 20 minutes, honestly. This is just so good. Here we go.
so good. Very funky. Very funky. I love how the guitar player was like, you know, like with the cry baby with the wah pedal. Um, really cool, like interplay here with the trumpet and the flute, you know, um, taking turns. Really cool, man. It's just such great music. Um, Donald Bird, I, I didn't know. Uh, this was fantastic. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, just the whole thing. You know, there's so much to think about when I listen to this music. It's so inspirational. And uh, yeah, I just... I want to start recording and it's just like it's impossible with this software here it's just so complicated it's like it's like a whole i feel like i have to like dedicate i would have to take like six months off just to learn how to record which is not that hard you know um but with this program it's just oh it's a nightmare and um and there's many things like my this computer doesn't hold up the RAM, so it starts to crack, you know, uh, while recording more than like once you start to overdub the instruments, and it's just fr so frustrating. So I just stop. Um, but yeah, the, the good the, the the one thing I never stop doing is practice. You know, I never stop. Pr uh, I never stop playing. Like at least one hour a day, I just noodle on the guitar or fo very focused noodling you know like actual practice but there's days where i watch a movie and i'm just like doo -doo 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 you know just for the mess uh for the um muscle memory you know to to not give up and yeah all right so let's go next with the uh, songs for my father from the album songs for my father and this is from, um, okay, this is obviously not correct. Let's look at Dave's information. 65. All right. Horace Silver. Here we go. steely dan ricky don't lose that number um yeah very very clever by donald fagan and walter becker i love them uh love them to death i can't believe we've watched them live i mean watched donald live with his band but we've seen an amazing tribute band if you live in the denver area please do yourselves a favor if you like steely dan Go see Citizen Dan. Literally, they play like Steely Dan the records. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. But yeah, I love that they took this storm. Very cool. <laughs> Notice how Latin that sounds. Boom, bam, bam, boom, boom, bam, bam. It sounds very Latin jazz, you know. Uh, very, very cool. <laughs>
so good. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if, um, you know, YouTube is a little bit, um, dumb because it's, it uses AI to recognize the songs. And then sometimes I get copyright claims from bands that have nothing to do with the original artist. But in this case, I would understand if, uh, because Ricky, uh, don't lose that number is such a popular song if it would be like steely dan and horace um but it doesn't matter you know uh, we've gotten some really bizarre copyright claims like uh when we did led zeppelin stay with to heaven led zeppelin literally said hey okay um use this track and then we got a copyright claim from a rapper who used um like a line out of Stairway to Heaven, and that is now copyrighted, claimed. So it's like, oh my god! So I had to get in touch with this, with this guy, and he, he says it's part of my song. And uh, so now we we can, you know, I don't know if it's gonna get blocked or something, but man, this was so good. Um. I love these marathons. These are the ones where I just like kick back and it's so cool. And I guess I make the most faces, <laughs> um, but it's so much fun. Uh, thank you so much for this, um, Dave. This is, pff, yeah, this is what I like. This is my world. Um, and yeah, I mean, to all you jazz freaks out there, you know, if you would like to get together and I've, I've talked about, you know, doing something a little bit more interactive. We're going to start a second channel um, after we hit 100,000 in Spanish because the Spanish um, community is nuts. You know, they um, they love their artists. They're, uh, I mean, when we post a video in Spanish, it gets like 10,000 views in one day. And I mean, it's it's great, you know, for us. It's It has a, it's great feedback. And... Um, and it's fun, you know, it's a, it's another side of music that I've never discovered, you know. When I was living in Mexico, I never listened to Spanish music, you know, Spanish rock. And Argentina in particular, they have a lot of Spanish rock that's amazing. There's bands that sound like Rush, they have bands that sound like Deep Purple, they have all kinds of crazy stuff. So we want to, you know, do a second channel and just post the Spanish stuff there and keep posting English stuff just here. And but I would love to do something interactive like me and uh, Raven and I, we've been thinking um, of setting up some kind of like remote, you know, thing. And uh, if you guys want to be part of that, hey, that would be wonderful. If we would have four or five people, you know, who are not afraid to be live on the air. And talk about music, talk about movies, talk about, you know, culture, talk about all kinds of stuff. It doesn't have to be just music. But I mean, obviously, the music is what we are aiming for. That's the, you know, but everything that revolves art, you know, and uh, cinema and, and shows like that and shows and, and all uh, things like that. So let me know if you're interested, because I will send uh, an, you know, an email to Gravy, what he needs, you know, like a microphone, a camera, you know, um, it's not a lot, you know, um, you need, like I use stream labs, but you can use whatever you want, you know, to capture your footage. And, uh, and then we would just go live, you know, and I do all the editing. You wouldn't have to do anything. You just have to be there and, uh, you don't have to show your face. I mean, obviously it's cooler. But I mean, even when you do something like this, you can, there can always be a screen with a, you know, uh, an instrument or whatever, you know, I mean, if you've ever seen a stream, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I would really like to do that with people and, you know, have like a particular day where we all go live, talk about music, maybe play some tunes, you know, and if it gets, you know, copyrighted, well, whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter. The what I want to do is just get together with some people and have some fun, you know? So, all right. Well, again, thank you so much, Dave. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was amazing. All these three pieces were just beautiful. I love the 
And this one here, um, songs uh, for my father. I love the the harmonizing between the sax and the trumpet. That was so beautiful. That ba da those two instruments. Um, you know, wonderful. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please comment below. Subscribe if you like this. Share with your family, with your loved ones, um, with your friends. Um, it really these these are the videos that me need you know most the most love because a lot of people just don't listen to jazz. I don't know why, but yeah, it would be nice. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please like the video and all that stuff. And again, thank you so much, Dave. I'll see you all in the next one.